What's up guys? This is Derek House from DHFDNS.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to make my birthday cake protein bites. They're cheap to make and only take around 10 minutes, so let's get to it. Take out a bowl and we're just going to add all of our ingredients into that starting with a fourth a cup or two ounces of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. You could also use regular milk or another milk substitute such as rice, soy, or coconut milk. Next, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a fourth a teaspoon of butter extract, two tablespoons or 14 grams of coconut flour, or if you can't find coconut flour, you could just use oat flour instead. Two and a half scoops or 75 grams of a vanilla protein powder. Four tablespoons or 64 grams of peanut butter. And then one teaspoon of rainbow sprinkles. Now go ahead and mix everything together. Before we shape our bites, take out a small bowl and put four teaspoons of rainbow sprinkles into it. Now shape your bites and roll each one around in your sprinkles a few times. So in the end, they look something like that. Two ways to prevent the mix from sticking to your hands. One, put your mix in the fridge for around 20 minutes. Or two, just keep your hands damp as you shape them. And there are your birthday cake protein bites. As you guys saw, the bites are done. So now I'm just gonna try one. So you would think, with how much peanut butter is in this recipe, that's pretty much all you can taste. But you actually can't even taste it. They taste like a really dense, moist birthday cake. They're absolutely delicious and they only cost around $2 to make. As for a tip, if you want them to harden up a bit, just put them in the fridge. As far as the calories go in the whole recipe, there's 856, 40 grams of fat, 43 grams of carbs, and 81 grams of protein. So if you make five bites like I did, in each bite there's gonna be around 171 calories, eight grams of fat, eight and a half grams of carbs, and 16 grams of protein. My bites are pretty big, you could easily make 10 if you wanted to. Before I end this video, I do want to mention that Tastemade has a new series called The Grill Iron. You can get to it by clicking the link in the description below. It's probably the most well-produced cooking series on YouTube, so if you like that kind of stuff, I suggest checking it out. On that note, I just want to thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It motivates me to keep making these. If you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to, you can click right there. Comments or suggestions go down below. I do try and respond to everybody. Thank you guys again for watching. I got some bites to finish. Stay healthy. I'm Jax and welcome to the Grill Iron. Join us as we drop in on the tastiest tailgates you could ever sink your teeth into. Our cross-country food adventure looks deep into a slow food revolution. We draft the best culinary trailblazers to step into our taste-made kitchen at the Hyundai Fieldhouse and redefine the art of tailgating. While the teams fight it out on the gridiron, our chefs turn up the heat on the Grill Iron. <laughs>